This is section 7.3, day 3, uh, finding volumes using shell method. As with anything, we run into a problem with volumes of certain functions. For example, find the volume of the region in the first quadrant bound by y equals negative x squared plus 4x when it is revolved about the y-axis. So here is the curve negative x squared plus 4x. We have zeros of 0 and of 4. And of course, this is an upside down parabola. A is negative. Well, if we graph the 180 degree rotation, we could find the volume, actually we can't, but uh, the method we know is washers. So here's the inside circle, here's the outside circle. Uh, but the problem is this is the same function. So if we subtract big circle minus little circle, uh, we might get zero. So we're gonna have to come up with another method and that other method is called the shell method. We're gonna use cylinders or shells to find out the volume. So here's one cylinder as we rotate this curve around the y-axis. Well, if we take the area of that cylinder plus the area of this cylinder plus the area of another cylinder and another one and another one and do that infinitely from zero to four, we're gonna come up with the entire volume of the object. Now I have a demonstration of this on the geometry sketch pad. There's the same curve. There it is rotated around the y-axis. And there's the shape, and hopefully you can visualize this. This is kind of a, a bowl with a kind of a curved uh, pointy indentation there. Well, here's all of the cylinders. Not all of them, of course, but a representation of all of them. And if we add up all of those cylinders from zero to four, an infinite amount of them, we're gonna come up with the volume, like I've said. Let's go back and do the math uh, with associated with this. Uh, if we're gonna add up all the cylinders, that's where integration comes into play. But the area of a cylinder, now we're just looking at the lateral surface area of the cylinder, which is the surface area of the side. So we're not worried about the top or the bottom, the two circles. The lateral surface area is two pi r h. So we're gonna integrate from zero to four of 2 pi uh, at dx. Uh, so I need to get this into terms of x, a of x. Well, if I pick a random x value right here, that distance from zero to the x value is the radius. So the radius is just x. The height of the cylinder, once I've picked the value for x, is the y value when I plug x into the function. So that's the y value of the function. So it's just negative x squared plus 4x. So that's what we have to integrate. And if I distribute the x through, we get negative x to the third plus 4x squared. Well, I can pull the 2 out, the 2 pi out, integrate what remains, which is negative 1 fourth x to the fourth, and then plus 4 thirds x to the third, integrated from 0 to 4. So I just have to plug four into this. Well, four to the fourth is 256, but then if I divide that by four, we get 64. So we have two pi times, that's actually gonna be negative 64, plus four to the third times four, which is 256 over three, plus 256 over three. And of course, minus zero, both of those would be zero. So we have two pi times negative, let's see, 64 times three, two carry the one, 192 over three plus 256 over three. Let's use our calculator for that. Negative 192 plus 256 is 64 over three. So the answer is 128 pi over three when you take the 64 times the two. In our next example, we're gonna find the volume of the solid defined by y equals sine of x from zero to pi, rotated around the line x equals negative two. All right, so we have sine from zero to pi. We're gonna put pi over two in the middle, and let's put one up here. And sine starts at zero is up at one at pi over two and back down to zero at pi. The line x equals negative two is over here. 
negative 1, negative 2. And we're going to rotate this object around the line x equals negative 2. So here's negative 2. And so we're going to have to do this with shells. So let's say that uh, the 180 degree turn is somewhere over here. And we're going to have to come up with this shell. Like that and like that. There's the cylinder. Well, the area, we have to find the area of the cylinder in x. So we have 2 pi rh. I have to get that in x. Let's see what the radius of this would be. The radius would be 2, all of 2, and then the random x value, so 2 plus x. 2 pi, the radius is 2 plus x. And the height is still just the function value, so times sine of x dx. So the area, well, we're integrating, let's say, uh, we're integrating from 0 to pi. And I can pull the 2 pi out. And we have 2 sine of x plus x sine of x dx. Well, I know what the integral of 2 cosine is. It is negative 2 cosine x. We might have to do a little work to find the integral of x sine x. And I can use tabular for this. There's dx, there's the integral, x, 1, and 0. We have sine of x, negative cosine of x, and negative sine of x. Do our little diagonals, plus, minus. So the integral of x sine x is negative x cosine of x and plus sine of x, evaluated from 0 to pi. All right, we're going to have 2 pi times negative 2 cosine of pi minus pi cosine of pi plus sine of pi minus negative 2 cosine of 0 minus, that's just going to be 0, and the sine of 0 is also 0. 2 pi times the cosine of pi is negative 1, so that's 2. The cosine of pi is negative 1, so that's plus pi. The sine of pi is 0. And then we have plus, uh, well, the 2, let's see, we're going to have plus. Cosine of 0 is 1, so plus 2. So that's 8 pi plus 2 pi squared.